Okay, guys, since we're really into the faux food right now, and I will be doing things during fall, well, I mean, I, I do things all the time, but for fall and Christmas, I, Hobby Lobby has all of their baking supplies, and that means all of their silicone molds and everything else on sale for 50% off every other week. So this week, and if people are watching, you know, a year from now, whatever, obviously, I don't know when the sale is at that point. So what I got is I got this little crown mold, which I think is adorable. And it has hearts and it has little other jewels with it, as you can see here, which would be really cute on a cake. So I got that. And so everything that I'm showing you, keep in mind, it's 50% off the price. So it was 99 cents. Okay. Some of these I've taken out of their package because I've been playing with them. This is for, you know, like if you did Reese's peanut butter cups. So these will make really cute candies. Then they have, let me get the right one here. These are little jewels. They're called gems fondant to put on a cake. They also have little bows, which I'm going to get because the bows would be really cute also. But anyway, here's the mold. And it... Hold on. Here's the mold. And it doesn't take much, you can tell. They're very shallow. But that's what it would look like. And I always keep my little papers just to remind myself different things they can do. And this is a round tip. I already have the tip off, obviously. Got some more of these baking cups. These are a little bit different than the other ones I had that I was showing you. And then they had... And I'm going to go back and get the bunt. These are the silicone cake molds, okay? But I'm going to go back and get the little bunt because that's really cute too. But look at how you can put, uh, well, you could paint these, and that's what I'll do. I'll probably just make these one color, and then I'll paint them after it's done to go along with whatever I'm making so it coordinates. Then they had this, and it's a three-color, is it a Copler? Coupler? And it shows you on the back, but I thought that would be cute on doing some stuff and making different colors of spackle and using it to get this effect. And this is just the box that that silicone mold came out of. So that was two fifty. And then the spreading tools, and that'll be nice if you don't want something that's real, uh, like swirled or whatever. You want more of a plain surface. You can use these spreading tools. This is a mold that they just had in the clearance, and you can see it's a little cupcake and ice cream mold. And then this fondant roller, 
I don't know that I'll necessarily, well, I can use it for my faux food, but I also could use it as a brayer. And that was $2.50 on sale. Then I just got an oven thermometer for my uh, Sculpey oven. Because I have a Sculpey oven that I've had for years, but I don't have a thermometer in it. So I got that because it was only three dollars on sale. Then they had these tools and these are nice with making flowers or smoothing things out or putting creases or whatever the case. You just look on uh, YouTube for different things that they do with these different tools. So I got those. And they've got new things out now. And what it is, it's a cookie cutter, but then it also has the silicone mold to make the impressions. So I got a couple of those to try. So this is the leaf. And this is a couple of the cookie cutters. And you can see it's got the little indentations Okay, there's a couple more. It's on my other table, and they're bigger. Okay, so what you do is you cut this out with your clay or your uh, bread dough or whatever, and then these are the molds that you lay the clay in. Or you, what well, I guess what you would do is you'd lay the clay in first and then cut it. I'm not sure yet. I haven't done it yet, but you can see these fit together. So you just put it in so you get the impression on both sides. Well, I got an idea. Why don't we just read this together? Wouldn't that be novel? Okay, it says, To use, roll out thin layer of fondant. Now, in my case, it's going to be um, either air dry clay or magic mold or bread dough or other substance and cut out leaves. Rub small amount of shortening on mold and place leaf onto the mold. Okay, so you do cut it out first and then put it on the mold. For me, I may put a little bit of, uh, maybe a tiny bit of oil, baby oil or something. I mean, and I'm talking a very little bit. Or, you know what I'll use? I'll just use my release spray because I have some release spray for molds. I'll just go ahead and spray a little bit of this on so it's easy to get out. Then it says place other side of mold over, place other side of mold over onto leaf and press firmly. So yeah, it is what I thought. So you put the clay or fondant, whatever you're doing, and then you just put these two together to make it on both sides. But before you do that, you're going to cut it out. Now when I do it, of course, I'm going to show you, but... I just thought I would read that since I had it here. And then carefully remove from mold. Okay. So I thought I'd give that a try. I only got a couple of those. Because I never buy a lot of anything until I know if I'm going to like it or not. Okay. I know you're not going to be able to tell what this is. This is a baby mold. Okay. You know the babies with their little bums kind of up in the air and you see them on cakes? Doesn't look like much, does it? You wouldn't believe the mold that it makes. So I'm going to be trying that. Let me see if I have the picture. Yeah, I tried to keep everything for you guys so you could see it. Isn't that cute? And then this was $2.50. Okay, and it makes really pretty roses, and I thought that would be pretty to put on a cake, and that's what they look like. And I just bought some funnels for when I'm doing certain like glitters or whatever to put into my jars, whatever the case, I needed small, just really small ones. And these were only $2, so... 
Okay, here's another one of these that I'm telling you about, like the leaf. This is a butterfly. So you would just cut out the butterfly and then put your material together and then just fold it over and press it. So if it works out, that'll be cool. This is my favorite of all the tips. This open star is my absolute favorite. And this is the large size. Okay, this is a 1M. And then I bought the Alphabet candy mold, and it was regularly $4, so two. And I just bought another Coupler. Somebody tell me if I'm saying it right, because I don't know if I am. And that goes with this one. So I always make sure I have enough of these. And this you use a 16-inch pastry bag with. And then I got the rose, like the leaf and the butterfly. And we'll see how that works, because look at how pretty this rose is. If that does work out well, how pretty will that be? So, let's try that. And then I just got this to make, if I wanted to make donuts, I could. Then I had to get some skewers, and I use these for my candy apples, and I'm using it for another faux food this time and some little wooden round balls and this pansy and this is just like the leaf so I'll cut it out and then you put the leaf and you just close this stuff up okay and then you have your flower so guys, that is what I got for my faux food. I thought I'd share this with you. So if there's anything that you like here, you could maybe go down to Hobby Lobby and get it right now at 50% off. Silicone molds are really the way to go when you're dealing with faux food. I like it better than the plastic molds for the most part. I mean, I do use the plastic molds like the crown, but I like the um, plaster of Paris, the way it turns out. It's easier to get out. And the only thing that I find that doesn't come out really well, and again, it could be my impatience, is the uh, Mold Magic. That is a little bit more of a headache getting out the air dry clay. That works really well. Um, if you want, you can spray a little bit with that mold release. So it just depends. I mean, you just have to kind of find your own groove and things that you like that work better for you. So it's a, just a matter of uh, trying things out. But I did want to share this with you. So if you want to go down and, you know, buy some, it's still early in the week where you could do that. Guys, until we get together again, remember, the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever, ever forget that. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.